Well, hey to all my friends down in Oxford and at Ole Miss. We were really excited about Legacy 2020, partly because it was our anniversary year, partly because it was the 10th time we were awarding the Legacy Award. For 10 years, we started with Leanne Tui, Olivia Manning, Robert Kayat, uh, Governor and Mrs. Winter. We've had some really stellar uh, award recipients, all people who have given a great deal of their life to making Mississippi, and specifically the Ole Miss family, uh, a better place. What we decided to do with Legacy 2020 was step outside the Ole Miss family and consider maybe going on a national level as that special 10th anniversary arose for the award. And who better than Dolly Parton? Now, of course, as I said earlier, she was Aunt Dolly to our children. We have known Dolly ever since Sam was her agent long, long ago. So it was a natural connection to reach out to her and want to share this award with her. She's thrilled to come to Oxford. She's thrilled to come and kind of join the Ole Miss family. When we announced that we would be honoring Dolly Parton with the 2020 Legacy Award, we sold out within weeks. It was, uh, I mean, we just, we knew it would be popular. We just never saw it coming quite like that. So we are at capacity, above capacity seating at the Jefferson here in Oxford for her Sunday night Legacy Award dinner. And it will be a fabulous night and we are so excited to welcome and have that celebration with her. But part of having Dolly in Oxford, part of having her um, meet our community of Ole Miss, be it students, be it the community of Oxford, was to think about showcasing the Imagination Library, which Dolly founded um, decades ago. Dolly came from very simple beginnings. Her father did, could not read nor write, and she said he was one of the smartest men I knew, but it bothered him all his whole life that he couldn't read. And so she, while he was still living, she founded the Imagination Library with the incentive of giving away free, sending a book every month to a child, and all they had to do was sign up, and the rest is taken care of. Now think about that. That not only is a record in the United States, I think it's a worldwide record, that one single person has been responsible for hundreds of millions of books being given away worldwide. You know, she counts all those little children across the country and the world as a little bit of her family and that little piece of her giving out. We will have a great opportunity to gather at the Ford Center uh, for what we're calling Storytime with Dolly. She'll be on the stage and we have invited children from all the schools, Lafayette County, Oxford University School, and they will fill the Ford Center um, getting ready to welcome Dolly to Oxford and hear her read and maybe sing a little bit and uh, say hello to everybody. And so what a great, great, glorious weekend. We're just thrilled to death to have her with us.